got so far. I'm ready to put my bass guitar on top of the drums now. So I'm going to get my channel started for that. I'm going to use the 1818 VSL. I'm using a Fender Jazz Bass. And I'm going to use Amplitude. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do all that stuff. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add another track here. I'm going to add a guitar bass track. Boom. Once again, it's going to come in and give me all these presets. I don't want any of it, so I'm just going to get rid of it. You don't have to get rid of the plugins. You can just, um, instead, you can uh, just click them off if you want. But I like it clean. I like to only use what I'm using. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put my IK Multimedia Amplitude in there. I want a stereo. Okay. And then uh, now I'm into Amplitude. Here's where you can get your bass or guitar sound. Once you get your sound that you want, then you're ready to start recording. You can go into a preset browser if you want. Click the instrument that you want, electric bass, the sound character that you want, and it will give you a library that will be set up. You can do it that way if you want. I like the Ampeg. I could try the 15. Try that guy if we want. Now I can go ahead and go right to the amp. That's the amp that it wants. I can change anything I want about the amp. I can also change the cabinet. I can change the way the cabinet is mic'd. This is uh, your stereo miking, like your overheads. You can change how much signal you get on each one of these microphones by going to the mixing board. So I can make, I can get a, a more of a stereo signal by really increasing the the distance be between the microphone and the amplifier. This is the one of the direct ones. I can change the mic if I want. So whichever one I want to. Or want to change I can change it to any kind of mic I want it all depends on your sound and your character what whatever you prefer I can also go to a rack and I can add things onto a rack like um, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and for my Ampeg let's go ahead and add like a compressor so now we can uh, compress the signal before it comes out to me etc. This is all depending on what you want. This is Amplitube. Amplitube 4 is what I use. I'm going to go ahead and record this again because I'm playing it different now. <laughs> Get ready for that when you're a musician that does everything. Executive decision. Bass guitar is done. Uh, here are all my, my takes. Okay, What I'm going to do now is try to patch some stuff together between 18 and 17. Try to get your takes as good as you can. Sometimes you got to do this. So I'll show you. See that mess up right there? I take this, expand this section a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and take this until it matches up. So I'm just going to go through, do it this way. Anything that I need, I'm just going to take from this take, because both of these are pretty good. Almost all of them are pretty good. I'm done grabbing all my edits. You can see uh, taking some edits around along the line to make it one consistent, continuous baseline that I that I like that I'm happy with. So now what I'm going to do is click this arrow. 
that'll compress that. And then I'm going to try to just sit this guy in the mix a little bit. <laughs> 